Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And in this one, we are going to talk about the Thai hybrid cross that was done by Mendel, but in a different way. We'll use a more uh, short approach, which would give us the result. And it would not take that much of time by drawing the uh, four by four square and everything. So, before we start off, for dihybrid cross, we need to consider two different characters. That is why it is called dihybrid. Now, if I take the parental generations to be one of them to be capital A, capital A, capital B, capital B, and cross it out with another parent which has small a, small a, small b, small b, where A and B are my two characters, then I would get the gamete as capital A, capital B, small a, small b. Right? Now, if I combine them, if I combine them, I'll get only one genotype that is capital A, small a, capital B, small b. Now, this is my F1 generation. Now, to get to the F2 generation, where all that ratios and genotypic ratios, phenotypic ratios are occurring. So what we can do, we can, we can, uh, we can self cross this F1 progeny, that is capital A, capital a, small a, capital B, small b. We cross it out with the same genotype, that is capital A, small a, capital B, small b. Now, what are the gametes that we're getting? We're getting uh, the gametes as capital A, capital B, this would be one of the gamete. Then we have capital A, small b, the second gamete, the small a, capital B, the third gamete, and finally, small a, small b. This is the fourth gamete. Now, to go to the ratios, we are not going to construct that uh, 4 by 4 Punnett square where we get those 16 results and then we find out but initially what we're going to do we're going to do we're going to perform a monohybrid cross for both the A character and the B character in the F1 progeny what I mean is that you do a monohybrid cross capital A small a capital A small a you do a cross of this what you get is capital A, capital A, capital A, small a, capital A, small a, small a, small a. And similarly for B, if you construct it, it get capital B, capital B, capital B, small b, capital B, small b, and small b, small b. So these are the different combinations that we're getting. Now to get to the results faster in the F2 progeny and the ratios and all those stuff, what we're going to do, we're going to write the A's and B's in a particular manner that would help us get to the results faster. So when you write A, you write a genotype at a time that is capital A, capital A or capital A, small a or small a, small a. So what you write is capital A, capital A, capital A, capital A, capital A, capital A. So you write it in a vertical manner. Then again, capital A, small a, capital A, small a, capital A, small a. And finally, small a, small a, small a, small a, small a, small a. Next, we do the same thing with the character B, but we do not do it in a vertical manner. We do it in a horizontal manner, the same thing. What we do? capital B, capital B, capital B, capital B, capital B, capital B. Next, capital B, small b, capital B, small b, capital B, small b. Small b, small b, small b, small b, small b, small b. Now, what we next, what we're going to do is, uh, we are going to consider different sets and get to the numbers. Our first set would be these four different genotypes that we got. So for the first one, what we'll do, we'll take out 
what is the number from the monohybrid cross. That is, in case of capital A, capital A, in the monohybrid cross over here, it is only occurring once. So we'll write it one. Similarly, for B, it is only occurring once. We'll write one, and we're going to multiply that. Next, for capital A, small a, it is occurring twice. So we'll write two multiplied by capital B capital B that is again one so it is two capital A capital A it's one capital B small b it's two we get two capital A small a it's two capital B small b it's again two we get four so that completes our first set we go to the next set and we consider these two so for small a small a it is one this one and capital B capital B it is one so one small a small a again it is one and capital B small b it is two so two next set these these two so capital A capital A it is one small b small b it is one we get one capital A small a it is 2 small b small b 1 so you get 2 next the final one capital a uh, small a small a we get 1 capital a, small b small b we get 1 and it is 1 so now what we're going to do we are going to add up the numbers that we're getting in the result for every set individually so this is my first set this is my second set this is my third set and this is my fourth set so for my first set, I would add up 2 plus 4, it is 6, plus 2, 8, plus 1, it's 9. Next, 2 plus 1, it is 3, 2 plus 1, it is 3, and 1. So here we get the phenotypic ratio. The phenotypic ratio, that is... 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 and for the genotypic ratio you know these numbers are the number of times these uh, particular genotype is going to occur in the square if you would have done it using the 4 by 4 squares so it would be 1 2 2 4 1 2 1 2 and 1 so that would be the genotypic ratio so that is how we can get to the results very quickly without using the Punnett square in case of dihybrid cross.